Today's daily dose of math is about the right angle. We're going to learn how to draw a right angle, but first we have to know what a right angle is. It's also referred to as a 90 degree angle. It's an angle of exactly 90 degrees. When the two lines that make the angle are separated by 90 degrees, the two lines are said to be perpendicular to each other. Let's draw one. We start by drawing a baseline. So I can draw a line of any length and I can put it anywhere I want on my page. And then I get the protractor and I put the protractor on the line. The zero dot of the protractor, which is right here, has to be on one end of the line. And then the line itself is lying on what we call the baseline of the protractor, this line at the bottom of the protractor. Now we're counting up to 90 degrees. But when we do that, we have two sets of numbers. Which one do we use? We always will count up from zero. So when we're drawing an angle like this one, we're going to use the numbers on the inside because that's where I see a zero. I count up from zero up to 90, which is up here, and I draw a line that goes there. There, that line is drawn at 90 degrees. I can move my protractor out of the way now. What I have just drawn is a 90 degree angle or a right angle. And we can use this symbol that looks like a square to show that this is a right angle. Or if we want, we can write 90 degrees in here and it means the same thing. But now I'm going to draw another 90 degree angle and I'm going to do it a little differently. This time I'm putting my protractor's zero dot at the other end of the line, at the right end this time. And I have to count up to 90 again, but this time, because I'm using the left side of the protractor, I'm using the outer set of numbers. That's why we have two sets of numbers on the protractor. It depends on whether we want to draw our angle on the right side or the left side of the line that we started with. I draw my line up to that point that I know is 90 degrees. Now I can move the protractor out of the way and I'll put my symbol in to show that what I have is a 90 degree angle. A right angle doesn't have to have a line that is flat to the bottom of the page, like this one. It can be drawn below the line and it can be twirled around so that it's pointing anywhere. All of these angles, no matter how I show them, are right angles and we can tell that by the fact that the lines are perpendicular and by the label of the little square. The right angle is part of the square, which is a shape that always has four internal right angles. It's also a part of the right triangle, which is any triangle that has one of its angles at 90 degrees. And of course, a rectangle, like a square, also has for internal 90 degree angles. This is how we draw a right angle. That is today's daily dose of math. Please like, subscribe, and share.